What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. And today, guys, we are playing the Super Bowl. My very first Super Bowl here on Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Very, very nervous. My previous game, as you guys saw, I did get that win 7-0 over an opponent who quit pretty early in the game. It's kind of been the story in most of my games this season. A lot of quitting, a lot of guys not making it through the whole game and just, you know, general BS like that. But we're going to see here if we can make it all the way through this game here in the Super Bowl. I'll tell you guys in advance, my opponent's pretty darn good. He's not the best player I've ever played against, but a very solid Madden player. And as you can see here, he has a good team. A lot of 90s overall. Very, very good team for, for being in the rookie division. And that's where we are currently, guys. Still stuck in that rookie division, of course, because I haven't played as much as other people. But here we are. We're going to start things off on offense here. First play, run up the middle. Not a great gain. Two yards there for Maurice Jones-Drew. But I'm going to stick with running the football here. I'm going to do my best to anyway. Third and one now, and we're going to try and get to the outside here, but my opponent makes a great play and is able to tackle me, which brings that up now a fourth and two, and I am going to try and go for it here. Looks like I've got my tight end open, but his linebacker makes an unbelievable play. I think that was Luke Keekley stepping in front of that one, and that set up my opponent with great field position. He was pretty much in the red zone to start this drive. And Doug Martin is going to punish me running the football here. Second and one picks up that first down. He goes with the screen pass here, and I do sniff it out, make the nice tackle there in the backfield. Set him up with a second and 13, but that didn't really seem to matter. A nice spin move there. He gets a decent gain there to set up a third and seven. And right here, guys, he is going to convert. Get it down to the one-yard line, which set him up with an easy first and goal. It's pretty much impossible to stop people at the one-yard line. Marcel Reese gets into the end zone with the one-yard touchdown. And, guys, I'm a little bit worried here. Can't lie. Uh, I'm just struggling on offense. Third and eight now as I'm down seven. And look at this pass rush. He's using a defensive tackle and just blows past my guy. Gets an easy sack there. I do decide to punt that time. So he is going to have to work a little bit harder this time at least to put points on the board. But man, this game is not starting off how I wanted it to. He is able to run the football pretty darn effectively. As you see Doug Martin just run over my defenders. It was like time and time again. He was just running through them. And it wasn't even necessarily that he wasn't getting tackled. It was just like every time. Watch this. I hit him and he gains like three to four yards after each hit. Eight rushes for 48 yards at that point. He was barely even passing. And as he picks up another 15 here, we're just running over and over and over again. And I just felt like I couldn't stop him. He's basically clocking me here already. We're in the second quarter and he's already clocking me. He knows that I can't do anything to stop his running game. I don't know what the problem was here, but I was having a hell of a time. Ugh. Finally make some sort of a defensive play there to set up a third and three. But it was all for nothing because the very next play, he throws it in there. That is J.J. Watt. Yeah, J.J. Watt with that nice uh, catch in traffic, apparently. Thanks, Madden. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Another screen pass here. And look at this blocking. Unbelievable. He ends up running backwards to run out more clock because that's how much he knew that my defense was sucking in this game. <laughs> Runs out a little bit more clock here. Nine seconds left, and he's just going to throw an easy-peasy slant pass there right up the middle. 14-0 at halftime, and he got the ball coming out of the half. I have to make a turnover here, guys. I have to get a turnover. J.J. Watt again. Another catch in traffic. Gets hit by Charles Tillman. Ugh, just blowing my mind. Watch this. He throws it up into coverage, and my... Ugh, just come on, Tillman. You've got you've to gotta make that catch, dude. We need a turnover. We need one. Jonathan Joseph, you, can, you can't get one either. Are you freaking kidding me? Seriously. Two plays in a row, we drop a pass. And then on third down, of course, we drop another one. So that sets up a fourth down. He did end up punting, so I got the ball, but I'm at my own 10-yard line. We have to drive all the way down the field. Nice pass there, though, to Jordan Cameron. Just a straight streak up the middle to my tight end. And now we're going to start to run some slants here as Demarius Thomas catches a pass. Next play, look at this play. This one blew my mind. Watch him user this defensive tackle. At the Red Sea parts here. And he still just morphs into my running back. Unfriggin' believable, Madden. 
but we're going to be able to continue to pass the ball here at least. Third and 11, we pick up a decent gain to set up a manageable fourth and four here, and my tight end's wide open again. Jason Morrow makes the catch. I almost thought that they were going to give me that animation where he runs backwards out of bounds. I would have immediately rage quit, I'm pretty sure. So, very next play, again, Jason Morrow, and I'm just going to keep running slants. If he's not going to try and cover it, yeah, I will just continue to set up that type of a play where I can streak over the top or just go underneath to a slant over and over and over again if he's not going to cover it. And he just didn't really seem like he was going to cover it on defense. 10 of 11 at this point, 127 yards. So I was passing the ball fairly effectively in this one as we get in there with Jordan Cameron to set up now a 7 to 14 finish to this game. Again, I need a turnover here, guys. And this is the biggest play of the game. Charles Tillman, you dropped, are you kidding me, Charles Tillman, again, your second drop, that was a touchdown, that was, you could not have been gift wrapped a better pass for an interception, dude, are you freaking kidding me, third and 13 now, and he is going to convert, it's just, if you give him that many opportunities, eventually they're going to convert, it's Madden, it's an offensive driven game, you've got to be able to intercept some passes, Charles Tillman, you have to, buddy. You have to. And he's just going to convert another one there. Third and four. Nice completion. Guys, there's a minute 48 left. I'm calling my timeouts, and he picks up a first down. That pretty much did it. Unfortunate, man. If I would have gotten that pick six, this game would have been a lot different. It really would have because I could have made this game tied. And uh, it just, it, it's so frustrating as, as he tries to run up the score there with a pass. Eventually kicks a field goal here to go up 7-17. to 17. That pretty much did it. You're going to see the end of my game here where I'm able to dot him up. Honestly, my passing game was on point here. It's just my defense. I, I couldn't do anything. When your team drops that many interceptions and, and they just don't make the guy drop any passes when they hit him in coverage. Final play of the game here. Look at this catch. One-handed and triple coverage to Marius Thomas. But... That was just the that was just the story of the game here. Uh, dropped interceptions. It's been the story of my career here in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Um, I I I know EA made this game so that your guys don't get as many interceptions. I understand that that was intentional, but this many drops it, it's just so frustrating. Good game to my opponent. I mean, he played well. He ran the ball really, really effectively, passed when he needed to, converted a ton of third downs, so good for him. But, you know, overall, I was really frustrated, but you know, what can you do? Good game by him. I do appreciate the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it the thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you guys again, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.